Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the root motions in Blender 3.6 and how to make the walking animations be in place in Blender 3.6. So what am I mean? You can just have a look. This is a Mizamo walking animations. To remove the root motion means in place. If in place, in place, then the whole 3D avatar will just stay at there but the body motion is still the same, but it is in place. There's no root motion at here. This is without root motions. If with root motion, then the avatar will just walk forward. So I'm going to show you how to remove the root motions in Blender 3.6. Let's say if you already have a 3D avatar in Blender 3.6, there's no more Mizamo there's not Mizamo, I'm going to close this. So how to make it in Blender? Look at this avatar. If I try to play, this avatar is walking forward and just and let's have a look. These are just, just a few frames here, walking forward. So how am I going to remove the root motions in Blender 3.6? So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. It is pretty easy. Just click the skeleton. Look at this avatar, it already have a skeleton. So click here, go to the viewport display, make sure it is in front, it is easier for you to see. So now this is to show the name, so you can see the hip bone is here and there's no root bone. So now if you try to play, you can see the whole skeleton is walking forward. To remove the root motions, to make it walking in place, just be in place, remove the root motions, you have to just go through a few steps. First. Just click the skeleton and go to the post mode. Then scroll up. Then move your mouse cursor to here. All right, you expand this up. Move your mouse cursor to here and drag, drag it down. It is going to duplicate too. And from here, just choose the graph, graph editor. All right, once you choose the graph editor, click the root bone. This is the root bone. And most of the time, it is the hips. Then you expand it. Now you can see you have an X, Y, Z locations. So now you click it, it is going to show. So for this case, I just click the Z location and press delete button. Then I try to play, you can see. Now the root motion really get deleted. All right. If you delete the Z locations at here, it doesn't work, maybe you can try X or Y, but most, most of the time, once I delete, delete all of the keyframes of the Z locations of the hip bone, then automatically it will remove the, remove the root motions. So in this tutorial, I already show you how to remove the root motions and make the walking animation in place just in Blender 3.6. And finally, I'm going to back to the object mode and try to hide everything, hide hide the skeleton and try to replay again to check everything try to play now you can see this avatar is really walking in place for any of the motions it can be running it can be jumping if you want to remove the root motions sometimes we really need to remove the root motions to perform any other 3d animation just by using the path just by using the curve so you have to remove the root motions especially for game developer when you when you assign the motion for your 3D avatar, you have to make sure the walking animation, like running animations, are without the root motion. So this is really important. This is a really important skill for all of the 3D modeler, 3D animator, and 3D game developer. All right, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to remove the root motions and putting all of the animation in place for Blender 3.6. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you!